Hello, my name is Akio Bachu. Today I'm making story time for my little brother, Akash Bachu. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you are you ready to start reading? If you got an extra copy, get it out so you can read it with me. And what's the name of the book, sir? This book is named The Couch Potato from George. Um, illustrations by Joy John and um, written by Joy John, illustrated by Pete Oswald. I'm a potato, not a small potato like my brother. <coughs> Sorry, not a sweet potato like my mother, not a mashed potato like my uncle Stu. I'm a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place is to slouch on the couch. I spend my, I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. <sighs> Why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato can need. See, I have this and this and this and one of these and those and this and that and these. Oh, and this. Check this out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whatever I want. Look, he's putting milk and cereal without a bowl. <laughs> That's funny. Bam. Impressed. And I don't have to move an inch. Much easier than going to the kitchen. The most important thing in life is to be comfortable then all at all times then i think it got it all figured out <sighs> but wait there's more i have i haven't believed the absolute best part more of my whole setup there's a lot of tvs should I tell you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow. It's everything you can see in front of me. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectacular, right? Yes, it is. A shimmering screen. The wall too shiny. Wow. What joy. What bliss. These screens feature my favorite shows. Mad. Yeah. Fries, mashed potatoes. This screen has my unanswered messages. Blah, 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 blah. These screens are where I play video games. Here's a race car, a box, and a box again. And this is a screen, screen of, live stream of my friend, my best bud for life. This is how my pals are. And I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the olden days. Hey, Spuddy. Hey, Paltato. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time. With a just few taps and a couple clicks. Not bad, eh? Ha! Ah, yes, sir. This is the life. At least. That's what I thought until the other day. Something. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. Something strange happened. There was a knock at the door. It was a delivery. Whoosh! Woohoo! It was my newest device, a video camera that will allow me to watch myself reacting while I was watching all my favorite shows. All I do had to do plug it in my and I had to all I had to do was plug it in my room. Nay my kingdom would be complete but suddenly pew Everything went dark. Look out! Coming through. Whoops! Oof! Ow! Lump! I made it to the window. I pulled back the curtains. The sun, se sun seemed brighter than I remembered. There's nothing better to do, so I decided to take my do dog Tater a walk. 
outside. It had been a while. Everything was so vivid, like a high resolution, 156-inch curve. Something smelled fresh. After a few minutes, moments, I realized that was the air. I heard a noise. Some chirps were ringed down, perhaps, but no. I walked up to see some birds. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Eventually, uh, eventually I found a park with a with a hill. There, there was a massive tree on top. It looked like a de desktop background, only it was real. Neat! I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, not even close, but after a while, it wasn't so bad. Ah. Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else, really. I noticed the still stillness, the views, the sky, <coughs> the clouds, the sunset, and those colors. My option, but eventually the sun sank below the horizon. By the time I got home, the power was back on the... On. I saw, sat on the couch. Phew! I hit the button to brush my teeth. Scritch, scritch, scritch. I, I pulled the lev lever, lever to change my pajamas. I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. <sighs> what happened then? Then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. I wondered how much my life has been spent in that very spot. It wasn't there I made the decision to peel myself on the couch a bit more often, maybe every day even. So, and so that's what I have done. I started hanging with my friends, best buddies outside. We started biking and hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we just talk all day. We might see, watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. It makes me wonder what I... What if I don't need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out I'm more just a couch potato. I'm an amusing potato. I'm a smart potato. I'm a kind potato. I'm an entertaining potato. Entertaining. Entertaining potato, and I must sit on the hill and watch the sunset potato. Yep, there's a great world out there, and I want to be a part of it in person. But don't get me wrong, at the end of a long day after I run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, it's I think it's awfully I nice. I still think. I still think it's awfully nice to sit on the couch. Now he reads a bedtime story, The Catcher and the Fry. Wow, that's a beautiful story.